Hey guys, what's up? I'm Boyka, and on this video, I'm gonna be going over the locations of Leyline. And Leyline are these materials over here, and the lowest rank, which is uh, a two star, is called Dead Leyline Branch. The three star one is called Dead Leyline Leaves. And finally, which is this one, it's the four star one, it's called Leyline Sprout. And the first one you can get from basically any Abyss Mage, as it says right here, Source dropped by Abyss Mage. But when we move on to the second one, which is the three star one, it says that it's only dropped by a Abyss Mage that is level 40 and above. So if you're fighting a Abyss Mage that is level 39 or lower than that, you're not going to be able to get this material. But this one you can also craft uh, and you can craft it basically by giving these ones over here. I'm going to show you how to do that later on. And finally, this one over here, which is the Sprout, you can only get it from a Abyss Mage that is level 60 and above. So you cannot get it from a beast mage that is level 49. And how you can craft these ones is by basically coming over here to the alchemist, which is located right here in Mondstadt. You're just going to come over here on the crafting bench and then you're going to scroll down until you find the branch there. And as you can see, I found this four star one right here, but I'm going to scroll down to the three star one first. As you can see right here, I have 222 of the true star ones so I can craft in total 74 of these which is the three star one but if I come over here to my characters you're gonna see that with Sucrose if I craft it you're gonna see that I have 10% to obtain a double product which means that let's say I'm gonna craft from this one right here and let's just craft 10 of them so I'm just gonna craft it right now click confirm and as you can see right here I crafted 10 of them but because I have Sucrose, I got one bonus. So if you have Sucrose, make sure to use her on here on the crafting bench when you're crafting stuff. If you can use her, use her so you can have that 10% chance to get a double item. And to be able to craft the 3 star one from 2 star to 3 star, you will need 3 of, the, of these 2 star ones. Just so you know, if you have a lot of these, you can come over here and craft them. And if I go over here to the 4 star one, you're going to see that I still need three of these three star ones to be able to craft one of the four stars and again i can use circles over here to have the 10 percent chance to obtain a double product so now i'm going to show you how to find the beast mages this is very easy now so you're just going to go over here to the book on your right corner you're going to click on the book and then here you're going to see on the last page it says bosses you're going to click there you're going to click here on the arrow where it says all and then you're going to come over here to the elite bosses and as you can see right here, this is the Abyss Mage and it shows you every single stuff that it drops. And it shows all of the ley lines over here, the 2 star, the 3 star and finally the 4 star. And you also have some chance of getting some artifacts over here as well and some more. And what you want to do here is come over here to the Abyss Mage before, I think we had like different types of Abyss Mages. But right now you only have this Abyss Mage right here and if you click navigate on it, you're gonna basically, they're gonna basically show you the locations of different types of Abyss Mages. They're not going to show you like the individual uh, Abyss Mages, which are the Hydro, Pyro and Cryo, which are the Fire, Water and Ice. So they're going to be, they basically, what they did right here is they put every single Abyss Mage in one place, in one page. So you can basically click Navigate and when it opens the map, it's going to show you this one right here. And I think this one over here is the Ice one, but right now I'm going to go there and check so we can see it together. So as you can see, I'm here right now and as you can see, it's the Ice Mage right there. Let's see what kind of level he is on my world level. He's 72. And after I kill him over here, we are going to see what kind of rewards I get from him. I'm just going to easily destroy his shield over here. There is also a... Uh, just so you know, there is like a flower over here. So you, can, you have to fight both of them if you come over here to farm it. And as you can see over here, I got the 2 star one and 3 star one. And sadly, I didn't get the other one. Which is the maximum one, which is the purple. This one over here. And this one you have a uh, lower chance to get it, even though I fought like a level 72 Abyss Mage, I still didn't get it. So you still have chance of not getting it, but you can still go out and farm it. And if you're lucky enough, you're going to get a lot of them. So after killing that Abyss Mage, you're going to go back to the book and click on bosses again. And you're going to go back to the elite ones and go back to the Abyss Mage and click navigate again. And after you have clicked navigate, you're going to see that this time it showed me this Abyss Mage right over here which I have to like teleport here and then walk the, all the way there. So you can basically go like that and farm them. But just so you know, there's going to be like a cooldown after you have farmed 
like basically a few of them I, I don't know exactly the limit but after you have farmed a few of them they're gonna put you a limit there's gonna be like a cooldown it is gonna be shown over here but after that cooldown is over you can go back and farm the beast mages again and this is basically how to get the uh, ley line if the video was helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye take care and if you have any comments leave them down below i'm gonna see you in the next video